Hi, everyone. We're going to talk about what we have coming up this week um, on Seesaw, May, the week of May 17th, um, which is next week. I posted all the activities for next week today, which is Thursday, May 13th. Um, but just so you know, these are the activities for next week. So hopefully it doesn't make you feel overwhelmed. I did it a day early. Um, <clears throat> so share my screen here. And if you look under activities, um, you'll see Monday, um, we're gonna be starting to talk about animal habitats this week because we're continuing with animal babies. And we're gonna be talking uh, about adult animals and adult babies. Um, so one way that animal babies are born is through an egg. And we're actually gonna be observing um, some chick eggs this week too. So Monday's activity is making your own animal egg and you can use Play-Doh or clay to try to make an egg shape in this video with very, she kind of shows you a way you can do that, but you can do it in lots of other ways. I know earlier in the year you've made nests already. Um, our in-person class is doing that this year. So if you want to make another kind of nest out of scrap paper you have, um, you can make that for your egg as well if you want to do that activity. On Tuesday, um, Melissa has a new video of um, a math game called Egg Hatch Match. Uh, there's two different ways you can do it. Melissa shows you one way and a description is a different way um, where you can uh, take an oval shape and cut it in half and use those two pieces to put together to do the matching numbers. Um, so that's a fun activity if you get into that. And we may get a chance to observe eggs on Tuesday in Miss Melissa's meeting. Um, and if we don't, there might be extra time to um, start to create this game with her as well. On Wednesday, you're going to start creating your science journal. And this is gonna be an observation journal or a journal where you can write about what you know about animals and their babies. Read the description here, which tells you some ideas of how to make one. And I made a little video about how I made one for myself and that you can try as well. On Thursday, um, we're going to talk a little bit more about adult animals and adult babies, and you can make your own at home out of Play-Doh, or um, you can just talk about it too and think about maybe, you know, maybe you have toys that kind of represent that as well. Um, but in this book, it's a nonfiction text. Um, we're just going to kind of walk through it together in the video, and it's a little interactive too. Um, and you can think about, there's some guiding questions here in the um, description here under Thursday um, to help you kind of go through the text as well. You can always go back to it. And of course, Friday, Feelings Friday. So we're going to talk about feeling afraid and trying something new. Um, there's two stories involved this Friday, uh, Please Don't Make Me Fly, which is about a bird that doesn't really want to fly, and uh, one of my favorite stories, A Frog Thing by Eric Jackman, which I'm going to read in the video, um, which also talks about maybe discovering things that you do well um, once you try new things. Um, great, and that's the whole week. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and we're really looking forward to having uh, chicks with us and watching eggs hatch and watching chicks grow. It's a really fun observation activity that we haven't had in a while, so we're really excited to have our remote friends join us in that. Um, I'll see you soon, thanks.